Okay, I designed a machine, you might like it. I'll show you how to build it. It's a 3D printed machine starting with this thing like a Triton Durahook or Granger. These are $2 each. We're gonna adapt this to have a little bit more straightness and perpendicularity when we mount it on here. Those brackets fit in the grooves. Now let's say you want to drill a small hole and you want to hold the workpiece rather than holding the tool. So we have that. Now we need it fixed in place to control the position. That's gonna go in here. So we're snugged up and let's say you wanna adjust the height of where you're holding that. So you can come all the way down here. The workpiece might be hard to clamp like this thing and I just want a little hole in the plastic. So I'm gonna come here and I'll put the hole right at that cross of the lines. Now we have our hole. Now let's say I want to hold a bigger tool like this cutout tool for more torque. Then I can also mount the cutout tool on the same system. It's fairly steady. We could do a little bit better. We can cinch these down. I'm just using a piece of rubber band, but we can continue to make it more rigid from here if we want to. And today we're going off the grid, so we're going to use the lithium iron phosphate battery. And we're going to power this up. But... Oh! Uh, that wasn't ready yet. It's better if you have built in a switch to your power system like this one. We're back to the regular rigid battery. We're going to connect the power and we turn it on when we're ready. You notice this was faster because we're at 18 volts rather than 12 volts, but they both work. Last up, let's see what this carbide can do. It's such a beautiful new material that's more available than it ever was before. We're gonna take a little bit of this off of the tool. Now we're performing filing on tool steel. That's lovely.